Hey guys, uh, so today we want to give a little walkthrough of where Paula lives and where I've been crashing for the last few days. Uh, so it's going to be Cribs Edition in Peru. So this is the front of my house in Peace Corps. Right now I'm currently in the moving out stage, so I'm half packed, half not. Um, but this is my room, so this is my bed. This is where Michael has been crashing. On the floor with all the spiders. <laughs> um, I have my own kind of balcony lookout, which is really nice. Um, so it looks out to the side of the street. Really nice view. You can see the mountains if you come over. Um, you can see the walls of the house is made out of adobe. So even though on the inside it looks like concrete, it's a facade. It's a thin layer of concrete that they put over adobe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Are we showing me a little window? Oh yeah, in case I don't want to do all that, all I have to do is open this little guy. And just stick my head out to see what the weather's like. Because the weather app is not trustworthy. Um, see, so this is where I keep my clothing and everything. Um, it looked a lot different when I was really, really living in it. This is where I would have all, like, I had a very tiny burner where I would cook and everything. Um, I boil my water. You have to boil your water every day, multiple times a day, religiously, and then cool it so you can drink it. Um, yeah, let me close the door real quick. Otherwise, I'm good. You want to show them where you keep the water? Where I keep in these things? Uh, yeah, so your daily routine, you boil water and then... Uh... Oh, so I have a reserve of water down here. Um, and I, I normally don't really use it, but like the water will go out here um, sometimes when you least expect it. So it's about a 12 liter bucket. Um, so in case, you know, if it goes out, I can use it. Or sometimes I'm too afraid to go outside um, because it's basically a spider's den that I live in. So at night, I usually use the water from here to boil it. Um, and I usually boil it every night and then in the morning. And then I store it in stuff like this or like my water bottles over here for it to cool. And then what does your breakfast look like? My breakfast is usually coffee and then yogurt and granola, which you're supposed to keep this at two to six degrees Celsius, but I, we don't have refrigerators. So I just have gotten used to it. My stomach is like steel now. Um, and yeah, that's what I have for breakfast every morning. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think, anything else in your room? Mm. That's pretty it, pretty that's much pretty it. pretty much it. Okay. All right, All right, so we're gonna go out to the rest of the house. Um, I've nicknamed it the Ron Weasley House of Peru because there's a subterranean level, this level, and then the top level. Um, should we do the bottom level first? Sure, let's do the bottom level. Okay, so we're going to go downstairs. Downstairs is where the bathroom is, the laundry machine. So we're lucky we actually have a laundry machine. A lot of people have to do hand washing their clothes. Um, over here. Uh, there's another room in here. Terrified. Um, it's a lot of clutter and stuff. But basically it's another room for people would like to stay in. Um, there's a bed in here. Um, this way goes to my house dad's garage. If you want to come. Um, they have another extra room that, over here. And then the garage is through here. He keeps his car through here. But we'll see it from the top level because this is creeping me out. <laughs> <laughs> This is like the window to that room. Um, this is the bathroom. The bathroom is under the stairs. Um, so I don't think two people can fit in it, so I'll let you just go in. Okay. Um, so the bathroom is under the stairs. Um, that's the shower. The heat, the top of the shower head is where the water is heated. It's all electrical current. Um, so there's like a switch to the left, if you see. 
Um, you have to turn that on and then you open or you turn on the water a little bit because less pressure means hotter water. And then you have to switch the current off before you turn the water off. Got it. Um, and then the toilet seat has no toilet seat. <laughs> they mainly do that because the water for the washing machine, um, so this tube is for the washing machine, so the let out for the washing machine has to go into the toilet. So they just don't put a toilet cover seat on it. And then this door leads to my host family's room. Um, and they have their own private entrance on the other side of the street. Um, but it's locked, so we won't go in there. So now we'll go upstairs. It's really cool, they have like the plants up there. Mm -hmm. Giving a view, looking up. Yeah, so my host mom really likes plants. As you guys can see. <laughs> And that's my room again, up the stairs, and then you turn this way, and there's another room. I call it the dungeon. And these are low ceilings, by, or doorways, by the way. Oh yeah, pyramids are small. <laughs> um, so this is what I call the dungeon. I used to live in this room. Um, here you can get a beautiful view of the carport, where the car usually is. Yeah, you still live in this room, very small. The dungeon. Michael refused to stay in it. Yeah, it kind of smells. <laughs> okay, um, we'll finish off the downstairs before we go up. So there's another room. <laughs> you have a lot of rooms. Um, this room, I think I have to turn the light on. It's really messy, but it's pretty large. And this one, that wall, I share with my room. Um, they have two beds. Um, who stays in here? Their family. So their family is really, really big. Um, so when they do have family, like they have enough room for everyone. And then this is, um, so this is the front door where you can exit out of. It's locked right now and I don't have the key. Um, and then over here, there's like some sewing stuff and just kind of junk. I, they, they, they hoard a lot of TV screens. Um, and then this, my host mom uses. Mm -hmm. Try not to bump my head into the doorway here. <laughs> I'm not even that tall, so. <laughs> okay, so that's it for, I guess, what we would call the first level. So we're going to go up now. So this is the second level. Um, this is the living room. Um, as you can see, it's not finished, so it's oh. open. Um, it's basically like half concrete up to here, and then they just put a like poster for it to cover it, but it's open, so it gets really, really cold up here at night. Um, but these lines are where we hang our clothing. So after you're done washing them, you hang them here, and then also between the stairs here, between the plants. Um, here's the living room. Uh, my host mom likes to keep it covered because we have cats, so if you sit on it, um, you just have to pull the blanket over. And as you can see, she has a lot of hand-knitted things to decorate the couches with, all done by hand. Crochet. Um, and then there's a balcony over here. So be careful because there's no, you know, nothing stopping you from falling over. Well, there's, oh, here's the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then this is an extra line to hang um, clothing as well. Usually you put like your thicker stuff out here so it can dry faster. Um, Pretty cool yeah. balcony. So it's got a view of the neighbors right here. Yep. The neighbors.
yeah, the plants are really, really beautiful, but with them come spiders and creepy crawly things. So here's kind of like the dining area. My host dad has his own computer. Um, so they're a little bit more well off in the community because they have this. This is very not normal. Um, and he, ha he also has an internet connection. Slow, but it works. Um, so the dining area has two tables because again, when they have family, it, it can be pretty crazy. So the dining area leads into the kitchen area. And this is where all the magic happens. Um, Peruvians love to cook, that's how they share love. Um, two stoves, kind of higher ceilings. Uh, they have, they used to have two cats, one of them kind of ran away, but they used to hang up up here. You can kind of see there's like an open area. So there's nothing up there, just for cats? Yeah, they just hang out up there. Um, and the water is not heated, so it's all always cold. Um, so it's better to wash your dishes in the middle of the day. But yeah, so this is it. Uh, also, another like sign of, you know, we're pretty well off is that we have an oven. A lot of Peruvians don't. They just have like the top burners that look like that. Um, to have an actual oven like this is very extravagant. And then through here, through this door, you can see an above of the garage. Whoa, you gotta be careful where you step. So he, I think there's a ladder over there, he climbs up. So when he parks it, he climbs up the ladder, then he walks on earth. Oh, that's and, he, and it's still open over there, and you can really see the adobe. Wow. Oh. Mm-hmm. And that is my house, everyone. All right. Well, yeah, in Peru.